Hello, hello everybody, it's Wolf Prof Chop and we're back again with a new set video. This is the Song of Six review, the arranged edition. I mean, it's a set video, so I, we, you didn't need to specify that. We already knew, brother. What let's go. What is the worth of a human oh, life? That's... I can't give you that answer, but I can tell you the worth it's of more an wind. elvish life. 62 Nothing. meat and oh. 17 lever once you Damn. really peel them down. I don't know how hey, much hey, that people, is, but it sounds here. a lot. Despite doing this for several years, God, I have never damn. figured out how to use a microphone. And for this, I sincerely apologize. Songs of Six is an ambitiously made, self-styled city-state simulator, developed for the better part of seven years. Now, damn. imagine you seven start years. playing the game, and naturally, you play the tutorial. I imagine most people do. The difference, however, is that over a hundred hours later, I am still that interesting Steam library, brother. Interesting. I see a lot of age tutorial. games. This is the story Damn. of Jacketon, the default Jacketon. starting location for the tutorial, which is named after the developer. We have no mountains, no natural resources, a sprinkle of trees, a small lake, and generally nothing. We're sandwiched between nice four tutorial. neighbors, the city-states of Tegan Val and Sluva, and the empires Sluva. of Starless and Ulisu. In a way, it's not looking very good for us. In the beginning, <laughs> you start with a couple dozen citizens All right. and a dream oh. of something. By the way, quick intro. I... Tried to play this game, but I went into a tutorial and I realized that it's gonna take me a long time to learn how to play this game. So I said, Fuck this shit, and I started playing Rim World again. Okay, yeah, just quick intro into this thing greater. Unfortunately, we are Cretonians, these Cretonians. are peaceful vegetarian pigmen with no aspirations beyond slumming in the dirt and farming crops. But for our part, and from what I remember, I think they had a big ass empire at some point. But they got destroyed, and this like a small part that managed to survive and run away from the uh, oh, human merchant. I don't remember this exactly, but it was something perfect. like that. And I quickly started an agricultural operation. Not, it's, uh, bro, that's not a lot. Much, but at least we're not starving. Grain has to be Food. processed by a bakery, while fruit and vegetables can be eaten directly. Regrettably, instead of a fruit. When did tails grow up like that? For my started an orchard. I did this on the promise that it's a slow operation with twice the potential yield. Nice, to this day, but... it has produced no fruit. Because by the time the fruit trees mature, I get a worm infestation and have oh. to chop them all down. Citizens Damn. typically prefer locals over immigrants. And the only way to increase the local population True. is by having children at the local nursery. True. In this game, a year is 16 days. And each four days a is, is a season. Days. A baby becomes a child. And a child becomes eligible for labor at four years of of age. Okay. Songs of Six encourages the miracle of childbirth with the economic miracle of child labor. Also, <laughs> after my pigmen accidentally snacked on <laughs> oh all the vegetables God. in the nursery crib, I can confidently tell you starving mortality death. has no effect on the happiness of your population. Yo, your loyalty above 100%. Your city lives and dies on happiness. Oh, if you oh, fail to keep your hey, citizens yo. happy, you'll start a failure cascade that ends in ruin. The simulation goes down to each individual citizen and measures the average fulfillment of their needs and desires for that particular population access service environment religion occupation government <laughs> ain't nobody like the, race. the government race damn it. is an interesting topic some races don't get okay we need to be a little bit careful here okay said i i assume as the smart young man you are you're gonna be very sensitive on this topic along some races are predisposed to crime some races that control our educational sector our labs and our academia but what else am i supposed to do when everyone else hates education mm. i'm talking of course about none other than humans. humans hey, let's go! Criminal and have a lowest sanity score of any race, which means an essential component of any healthy human you go population crazy? is an asylum. But they have to love science, which is it's kind of too real, though, isn't it? Important because this game handles research in a unique fashion. You don't just learn something. No, you research it, and then you have to pass on that generational knowledge oh, across God. time. Remember, we don't start with paper. We get to that point after multiple generations of oral tradition. Wait, what if you get paper, but just as you get paper, everybody that knows how to make paper dies? Oh, shit. And even then, we have to maintain and preserve our existing knowledge against entropy. Almost every other race dislikes intellectualism and prefers <laughs> to be indoctrinated. Everybody this is hell? advantageous, as it fosters hey, more intellectualism and prefers to be indoctrinated. This is... Turkey? 
advantageous as it well, I need to take a trip to Turkey. I'm close by, brother. And open Here I come. Is an open bussy. Its gates unbarred and unguarded. Some might argue that great Coordinate. men are made, not born. In a case of Dondorians, that is literally true, because they appear as fully formed adults at the base of a mountain. For this what? reason, the only way to get Dondorians is by immigration. They're oh. good at mining. They're good at Minecraft. They're basically Damn. dwarves. Hey, it's Tyler One. Hey, he's short. Forest dwelling so. elves. They're good with trees and they're six, good six. with nature. What else? They're also known for violating human men for several days before they cannibalize. Uh, does the great Queen Amora set up a village and swiftly away his defense with her? She lapi holds the children and the woman for two days and then um Okay. They are not good people, and that queen, she a bitch. Them. Bizarrely, this makes them compatible with a cave dwelling Garfimi, who are effectively bug men. What they lack in skill, they make up for with raw God numbers. Damn. There's nothing bugs enjoy more than plucking limbs from the other races. And while most cities will have a mixed God population, damn. some races don't get along with anyone. Via Mevia are Hey, why that lizard so sussy though? Why he looking at me like that? Our coastal dwelling lizard is so thick though. Uniquely xenophobic and yeah. incompatible with other races, which Damn. is offset Damn. by their Damn. impressive physique and high lifespan. If you want a true monocultural isolationist experience, try the lizards. Finally, there are two giant races you can't normally get. The uh -huh. more explanation is that Damn, their populations have been decimated over the course of several great wars. If you control a region containing a haven and satisfy their high demands, they can be convinced to join your cause. Oh, While they have many differences, they do share a common trait. They're, They're fucking gigantic and make for the best shock troops in the entire game. There's a bit of an Makes irony sense. in a sense that uh, they're incredibly rare and almost extinct. And the best thing they're good at is fighting. getting even more extinct. The Argonosh are spider leviathans with a voracious appetite. They oh, don't shit, care that's for anything awesome. except food, which may sound simple until you realize the logistical nightmare of providing four meals a day to every person on the map. The Cantors may ask for more Cantors. up front, but they're easier to satisfy. Generally, once I arrested two people at the same time, but only had one courtroom. Oh, one of the God. two arrested thieves had no legal representation. They considered this a complete breakdown. Of Since you failed to uphold the standard of your Cantorian havens, they have now stopped supporting you and its members will start to return home. My legal system and left in disgust. But Damn. at the time, I knew none of this. I was a young blood desperate to young turn a profit and expand my settlement. YouTubers <laughs> are a prime example of making the most amount of money with the least amount of skill and intellect. In a fair society, these are the people who should be toiling in the coal mines and dying of black lung. Damn. But really, I simulated Real this shit. by importing Garfimi slaves and renaming them to my favorite content creators. Oh, I invested God. So Wait, much who, let's see the names. And Mr. Beast for hours video essay on the witch. <laughs> Which who's that supposed to be? Leave them to my favorite con viral Viral cynical the cross there again. Content. It's no longer ironic. Creators. I'm surrounded by nonsense. I invested so much. I think nonsense is the British word for pedo. To this coal mining operation, only Just to find out I've spent several in game know. years for a tar pit with 30% efficiency. It wasn't just unprofitable, Damn. but because of the size and scale, the cost of maintenance alone sent me into the red. On the other hand, I found out slavery is actually quite well received, as my citizens enjoy a slave population <laughs> so long as it's not their own. Oh, my settlement God. grew and rediscovering history again. Unfortunately, Crazy. crime had become an issue. Another oh, day. Shit. Another flashing. The people flashing. lived in fear. A red had become Let's an issue. Let's see the crimes. Another day. Flashing thefts, vandalism, murders. This disrespect is a crime. Another flash. Okay. The people lived in fear. Of Arrests had to be made, but because I spread myself so thin, I didn't have the resources or manpower to enforce it. And so the public indecency continued until I increased my coverage. And after the prison started filling up, I am forced to make a difficult statement. Dundorians are sex pests. Of the five indecent exposers, all five have been dwarves. <laughs> I have no What's further wrong comment. with At this dwarves? Point, I was earning capital by Wait. exporting furniture. Okay, how does that even work? So from what I know of uh you know, fantasy races, dwarves are hairy as hell. If they flash, can you even see what they're trying to flash through all the chest and, you know, sex hair? Huh? This game doesn't have Asking a the real economy. questions right Trade here. prices fluctuate and work on the rules of supply and demand. Oh, Basically, God. if you can make your own, that's strongly encouraged. If you have excess to sell off, that's good too. But overtrading a commodity can apply disproportionate pressure price. on the value, which is minimized by the number of trade partners. So, if you want money, you better diversify. But if you don't, Damn. 
Poverty also has its advantages. If our treasury is empty and we're dead broke, guess what? Our what? diplomatic gifts mean a whole lot more, which is important because if our reputation drops to zero hey, with yo? any of the four factions bordering what us, the we're hell getting am invaded. I looking at? And with a current standing army of... Brother, I've seen women with way smaller titties in there. Like, way, what the hell? Zero men. I don't fancy my chances. So mm. I would intentionally dip my savings into the red, plead, cry, and defecate in front of my neighbors, and a pathetic display made me an unattractive target for assault. Damn. I would reputation farm into the multiple thousands so I could reliably forget about it for the next dozen years, while enjoying the benefits of almost zero taxation on all trade. <laughs> this gave me a lot of time to experiment and figure out what I'm doing. Firstly, I tried mining Did gemstone. I Subsequently, then? I failed at mining gemstone. Didn't hear that. Instead, I used the natural fertility of Jacketon and turned it into an opium plantation. I still had a lot of Garfimi Bro, slaves. Why does every game that allows you to make your own market, your own economy, it always come, comes back down to drugs? I swear to God. Rimworld, Victoria, all these games that allow you to make something out of your people and it always comes back down to drugs. Left I don't understand them it. to work in fields of poppies and cotton. However, I got overly ambitious and my bugs got a little rowdy. Oh, there is shit. no other situation bugs. where the following words can be said. The cotton pickers are having another uprising. Subsequently, we abolished the practice. Not <laughs> oh my god, Seth. Not on moral grounds, but because they robbed my throne and took just about Damn. everything. Happiness was at a moral do? grounds, but because they robbed my throne. The few disease have patched the throne through low cunning. The wretches have plundered our stores and our treasure before deserting their master. May the gods help us through this winter. Ronin oh, they just young shit and left. They didn't kill Happiness people. was at an all-time low ah, among my Dundorians. So I tried producing alcohol and opened a tavern. Demand outstripped supply. Just Access that was terrible and supplies were... I sincerely hope that was not a, what I think it was. And that child was drinking milk. Yes, milk for bones and stuff. So low that it just made them Grow angry. Strong. So I tried satisfying food preference instead. Mushrooms fish complex proteins then i restricted Our everyone rock. to just eating bread and they were happier additionally i tried what? introducing fine dining in the form of restaurants and Damn. almost lost the game to a public riot not only did i fail to meet supply but each time i did so a citizen would starve spiraling into a vicious loop what their the desire hell? for the mick menu was so strong that it overrode Ew. their survival instinct what to eat street food preferring instead the embrace of what death. was a street this food not a plague of famine it was a plague of choice. After the many lessons learned, alcohol is haram, <laughs> cooking is forbidden, and our entire Damn. food pyramid is bread. Finally, I did make a breakthrough in citizen satisfaction. That's how the hell. It turns out that when I select and look at a random peasant, they are not meant to be caked in shit. And yeah, I was gonna ask why they all did it. bath houses 40 hours into the game, did I make that connection? Around this time, I also realized after reading the tooltip, the reason for my insane cost of degradation affects room negativity. Uh huh. Maintenance. Need to you keep see, rooms. Have walls. Walls increase isolation. I did not build any walls. Do I have to? <laughs> what? Everything was wallless. Rebuild my entire city. Yes, even work? I did. I oh, rebuilt the okay. whole. Okay, technically you don't have to rebuild your whole city. You never built a city. You built something. Whole thing. I don't and know I what it was. City planning, building design is incredibly yeah, fun, and there's no greater satisfaction than having an elegantly designed lavatory for optimal shitting, pissing, and sharding. In the end, you take so much pride in what you've built. Jesus Am I coping? Christ. Yes, absolutely. But after <laughs> numerous what? pride in what you've built, am I coping? Yes, absolutely. I do it well, I'm not only coping, I'm seeding. That is seeding. But after numerous trials and tribulations, I had that. a stable, diversified economy and a series of shacks resembling Damn. civilization. That was also, to be I promoted a four year old to become nobility. Because it's funny, nobles provide a variety of beneficial effects, and currently they're a work in progress. Hey, or, as the developer translated master? to me, they cannot betray you yet. Everything mm. was calm and peaceful until we found a Cretonian with his eyes scooped out. On the body was a note oh. signed Jake. A murder has occurred. This murder is different. The victim is a Cretonian by the name of Gazef Romanus. The body was found on its eyes. Removed paralysis was done while the victim was alive, but we hope it was post mortem. What is even more disturbing than all that was left? Today I save a soul. I will make many souls before the great works can please please motor do not even attempt to stop me in my work. You are a mere okay, we well, got a coat. Jake the Invincible.
attacked the Invincible, claiming that he's saving lives by returning them to his forgotten god. Oh, Our shit, that's the god? Had a serial Kinda killer. Got... Another day, another victim found dead. Eye sockets empty. Every Damn. victim was a Cretonian, and this was clearly a racially Race. targeted crime. Terror ruled the streets, and we had no leads. It wasn't until a passerby claimed to see a Cretonian woman fleeing the scene. This oh, information shit. didn't add up, but we tortured a confession out of them, and they pleaded guilty to all crimes. The serial killings. How it usually happens with confessions promptly stopped. Jake the Invincible was identified to be a middle-aged Cretonian woman predating on her own people. We sent the Damn. killer into the arena to be <laughs> chopped into pieces for the spectacle of the crowd. So was she we invincible? Gave her body as much respect no. as it deserved. We pissed on it and dumped it into a mass grave. Damn. Serial killings are rare, and they're not often so straightforward. You might get the wrong guy and torture out a false confession, or the mm. trail simply goes cold from lack of evidence. Eventually, Sheesh. beyond exports and fields of opium, I found the most lucrative it's source like of ants. cash. I would intentionally reduce my army down to zero to okay. try and entice rebels to attack my city. Oh. The moment this God, you're killing your own people for profit? That is too real, Seth. Too real. Happens, I hire mercenaries, crush the invaders, and sell off their loot for fat stacks. <laughs> it's actually this doing that. From borderline broke to half a million in the bag. Now, hiring mercenaries is incredibly expensive. Paying them is even more expensive, but they handle their own supplies and they're instantaneous. Oh, that's good. I use them to conquer a neutral region, and as I did, my brain expanded and my neurons started firing because suddenly, I can hire more. For no. each region under my control, I get access to five extra mercenary companies. So I hatched the plan. Take all my money, raise an army of mercenaries, and conquer Winsta, the weakest Winsta. nation I can find nearby. With each city taken, my numbers increased. Eventually, let okay. me see. My question is for anybody, if anybody's played this. If you conquer cities, do you need to actually build and supply the people there? Do you have to control that city as well? Because that sounds like a crazy amount of micromanaging. Like an absolutely insane, imagine managing like five cities, that would be awful. Each to their capital. I sold everything to keep those mercenaries paid. I almost ran out of money. If that siege lasted a day longer than it did, I would have lost. But in the end... It Brother, mercenaries, can't you make them go in? Because usually in history, this is what happens with mercenaries. You pay mercenaries, then you have give mercenaries missions, mercenaries do missions, then it comes time to pay mercenaries. You make them do an impossible missions where they all die, so you don't pay mercenaries. I'm pretty sure that's how history goes. It or you just kill them yourself. Because I reached the max limit of mercenary Damn. companies, and I could now companies. recruit enough men to overpower anyone. Problem oh. is, they're asking for 750k up front with you a daily fee of 100k. Soldiers of fortune have a steep asking price. But what if the Golden Horde could pay for itself? I've been on the back foot of golden negotiations, horde. pleading and groveling to my neighbors for mercy. Until now, selling my spoils, I muster a short-lived but massive army, declare okay. war, intercept their army, and immediately sue for peace. To which they have no option but to accept my favorable terms. The best part about shotgun diplomacy is you already know the answer each time. <laughs> because once they surrender... We like he's bullying his neighbors for money. Okay. Uh, that is very realistic. We do it again until we empty their entire treasury. Damn. Unknowingly, they just paid for their own demise. The century of humiliation was over as Jacketon turned on their allies. No longer will I be extorted each time it's their nephew's birthday. Tegenval and Sluva were too small to resist. The Elvish Empire of Starless to the north was Starless. a different story, but led to the development of strategies I'd replicate going forward. Which Economic are? hyperwar is the act of... Economic hyperwar, is that that was not sound cool. This Henry kissing girl and some she's posting to fill the screen. We just abuse the eye to trade us towns for money. <laughs> Manipulating okay. the enemy. To What's take going on? Oh my god, it's so much shit. Beneficial it's LeBron James. Them in turn, LeBron James. There was Black Trump again. Why is Black Trump on my screen for the second time this week? I am afraid. Sell them back to the enemy, only to invade them again. Then, we use them as bartering chips for other cities. Take control of those cities, demolish the walls, and advance our front line. We Damn. remove the need for extended siege, and reduce the enemy to a single fight. There was only one exception to this. As luck would have it, the human empire of Ulisu to the south had the Ulisu. largest standing army in the world. Even if I recruited every mercenary, I would still be outnumbered two to one. So, Damn. I drained his treasury, 
and I waited. Eventually, he could no longer afford to maintain his army and fell Downsize? like the rest of them. Jackson Damn. lives Why by a simple. Why didn't they just attack if they have a bigger army? I'm very confused. Proverb. Feed the earth and it will feed you. But we fed the earth so much that nature herself is vomiting up red. There's too many prisoners of war Damn. and not enough mass graves to go around. Just burn them. Around. Nope. The rest is morbid history as I took the rest of the map. Jacketon is now the single state empire of the world. Nice. Resources are limitless. Currency is infinite. For we nice. possess an infinite money printer, the design of which is as follows. I form a puppet state, uh -huh. declare war on them, take all their money from a peace treaty, invade them anyway, and install a new puppet to That's repeat fuck. the process. That I have, fuck. in every sense, completely rigged the system. But like Sisyphus reaching the top of a mountain, oh, I had nothing left dogma too. to struggle against. And so too did I lose my interest. That has so good. I made a royal decree to arrest everyone. If you're ever interested in ending the game, just click prosecute on your main population. Prosecute your entire population. Guards start arresting citizens. Then they arrest other guards before being arrested themselves. Prison wardens get jailed. Who arrests them though? and break out of their own prisons. Chaos and pandemonium rule the oh day my as God. everyone turns on each other and eventually they turn on me. In summary, Songs of Six has a very expansive, detailed, and enjoyable tutorial. That was a tutorial, yeah, just, yeah that was a tutorial, brother. He has 260 God, hours of playtime. I can't wait to play the actual <laughs> game. This may not take the spot for Game of the Year. As we all know, that's reserved for Churn Vector. Is it out though? Is it one of those uh, permanent early access game or is it actually but out? It's a very close second. I need to know. The graphics, the changing yeah. of... Hey, listen, if Dragon's Dogma 2 receives game of the year, I, I, I have thought that... Listen, I love Dragon's Dogma 1. Amazing game. Dragon's Dogma 2 is just less. It's just less. Better graphics, everything else is less. Seasons, the music, the game. scale of the I simulation. I just, Considering I, this is written I'm so sad Java. about that. I have no words. There's no other game where the line between city builder and sociopathy is so blurred. I mean, uh, but there is, there is RimWorld where, yeah, I mean, they have kids there now, okay? That, yeah, brother. Demonstrate this. It's bad. For my second playthrough as the Garfimi, I proposed a Garfimi. novel form of meat production. It's less People? of a ranch or a pasture and more of a tilapi nursery. For reference, at a consumption rate of half an apple a day, a fully grown tilapi child costs us 32 apples, costs. but gives us twice. The child costs us, that is a wild statement. That amount in meat and lever. And once they're adults, we arrest, execute, and butcher them. The tilapi child to tilapi soup pipeline is highly effective. And while my humans don't agree with cannibalism, because they're bigoted chuds that can't grasp the richness of Garfimi culture, their stomachs can't complain. So, what have we learned <laughs> oh today? God. One, prisoners are the ultimate cash crop. <gasps> Labor is a resource, Jesus. and so are they. Two, look Damn. past people and their differences, and see them instead as a source of protein. Three, much like real life, retirement is economically unfeasible, and exists only as a carrot and stick to motivate the working scary. class. I give this game my highest recommendation. Which I is? give it no days of food out of we're about to starve. Mm. And because it's mainly one guy and not a corporate entity, I can just ask for a sale. What is up with all these one people making this complicated ass game somehow and it'd be better than AAA games nowadays. What is happening? How are y'all so talented and still not working with actual people to make better games? If you're I'm confused. interested, it's 20% off on GOG and Steam for the rest of oh, April. Oh yeah, it's still early access, yeah. The first I remember hundred that. to use the link when a free chemical castration or prefrontal lobotomy. Terms and conditions may apply. As always, ah, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the men. All right, well, that was song so six. Six? Six? Okay, it's six, I guess. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be streaming some other link later on today. Check it out. And have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Any members oh, of the shit. merchants. I was supposed to.